Welcome to Indian Creek Bow Hunting Journal. On today's episode, I'm going to show you how to build a blind that will put you in the most advantageous position to be able to film your hunt and shoot the deer at the same time. So stay tuned. From nothing, he spoke into existence, everything that is. And he's made us his stewards of all that is his. So on today's episode, I'm not going to so much show you how to build this blind as, a, as a, far as building a box blind goes, but I just want to give you some quick hints on building one for bow hunting specifically. Of course, with the bow hunter in mind, you're going to need a bigger box than shooting out of a rifle blind. I've seen people build a very effective a 4x4 or 4x3 box to sit in and shoot deer out of. It might be about five feet high, something you can just sit in and hide. But uh, that's not going to work for bow hunting. So I found the most advantageous box to build at minimum is going to be six feet by six feet. That's going to give you enough room to move around and uh, be able to, to uh, get in position to shoot the deer without even spooking the deer or bumping something or hitting your uh, broadhead and breaking it open before the, the time is right if you use mechanical broadheads that is so anyways it's not again it's not going to be so much a how to build the blind um, you can kind of see on the video how I've built it but um, it's going to be really focused on how to build one for video so let's go up and take a look now as I mentioned I'm not going to show you specifically how to build this in detail, but I do want to show you how I did it. In fact, uh, you see the cross members to keep it from actually uh, swaying in the wind or moving around too much whenever you build it. So these cross members are pretty important. But you can see I put a hole to be able to climb through the middle. And then I just kind of saved some money on some wood and did uh, the, this, use some of the cedar off my property. So, anyways, here we go. Alright guys, so here's the inside of the blind. As you can see, I used this, um, this is actually hardy panel, and I just stacked it on top of uh, each other, rather than tapering it like you would if you're building a house. But, anyways, it's a 6x6, six six, um, and it makes it easy to do it. I built it out of 2x3s, it's actually a 2x6 and I ripped it in half with the table saw and then um, just put a tin roof on it you can see kind of put some paint over it just to keep the glare off as deer look up in here because I'm pretty high up I think it I think I put it at about 10 feet high but let me show you the specifics of actually hunting out of this uh, for uh, deer itself you can see I built a chair right here in the center and then as I sit down on the chair this is actually eye level view so you can see I've got spots outside that I can actually look through as I sit down and this is a heavier mesh screen if you look at this I got this from Home Depot um, I believe it was where I bought it but it's not the regular screen material that you would buy for a household screen uh, to put in a window but it's a little bit heavier stuff and they sell it in the same section and so this way I can sit here and I can actually see deer coming from every angle um, except directly behind me because of course I didn't want any any spots uh, behind me open and then especially because this is, I wanted to focus on the uh, 
the videoing for this, what I did was I, I put uh, a smaller section. I wanted to be able to hear a lot out of this as well because, you know, sometimes I might be sitting here reading a book and not aware that deer are out there. So I wanted to be able to hear a lot. So I made a bigger window and then closed it in with this screen mesh. And then uh, because you can see the, the opening is much bigger down here. But, and then it underneath, so that made it very easy just to get on my knees like this and be able to turn and video through the screen mesh. So you can see the deer can't, can't see you through the screen mesh as it sits down. Um, so you can kind of, kind of gives you some ideas on how to do that. And I also have a window on this side where I have a backup camera that I put in this section here. And you can watch the episode where I do the review of the cameras and you'll be able to see it's a H, uh, Sony HDR uh, 5, I think, HDR, uh, something like that. Anyway, so I, it's, I shoot out this side. Um, now another important thing on this is to make sure that you carpet the floor. Uh, when I build another one next year, I'm going to carpet all the way up the side to here. Uh, I should have done that on this one, and I'll do it ex all the way around except for directly behind me, right here. Because, uh, and there's double layer of carpet down here because it really does quiet things when you use carpet like this. And so that's uh, critically important as well. In videoing hunts, uh... It's always important that you try to ethically take that deer. Um, I try to do that all the time. This year I've been shooting very lousy, so if you want to go back and see my hunting this year, I've actually not been shooting too well. I just had surgery on my hands, carpal tunnel, both hands, and I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but um, I've got, since this surgery, hopefully more of my feelings going to come back in my hand and I might be shooting a little better. But uh, anyways... Um, it's it's really important that you try to ethically take that animal and so uh, filming your hunts can really be a distraction to that so what I always do it when I'm filming a hunt I will wait till that animal settles down and I'll, I'll focus on filming and then I'll wait till that animal settles down and then I will set the camera pull it back just a little bit so if the animal moves a little bit I don't have to move from my bow back to the camera sometimes that happens but I try to set the camera as much as possible. Then I grab my bow and uh, relax, pull back, and let her fly. So uh, hopefully that kind of tip will help you uh, film your, your hunts better. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you enjoyed this, please give us a thumbs up. Also subscribe. Um, and if you subscribe, of course, you'll get a notice of any more new videos that we upload.